Okay, so this is topic 19, integrated office systems. And so this is just gonna give a general idea of what happens in the office as it relates to systems. We talked about how information needs to be transferred from place to place. And so oftentimes in order for information to be transferred, companies use different systems that allow um, different departments to communicate. And so that's what we're gonna talk about in this topic. And so, of course, welcome to the virtual space. Let's work together to learn, share ideas, participate, and learn something new. The wise always speaks knowledge. Integration in business. When we say integrate, we mean that things are working together. And so there are systems that work together in the background of just about every business so that the office and all of the departments can work together and we can achieve the goal of making money and making a profit. So oftentimes companies invest in a lot of software that helps information to be shared properly and that helps um, different tasks to be much easier in the process. So for example, things like Microsoft Documents and email systems like Microsoft Word, um, not Microsoft Word, email systems like Outlook allow persons to share information within various departments. And so that's a system that integrates a few things that allows you to be able to do a few things. When you look at Outlook, Outlook has calendars involved. And so the receptionist can actually use the calendars and sync calendars for different individuals that they're making appointments for. That only makes the process even smoother as it relates to working between different departments and in different areas. Let's even think about accounting software. We have some accounting software that's integrated with purchasing software. And so um, a company maybe puts, creates a purchase order in the purchasing department based on the requisition that they received. And in some instances, that purchase order information can be transferred over into the accounts department system that allows them to see, okay, what purchase order was prepared, who prepared it, um, when were the items received, were all of the items received in the system. And once it's ticked off in the system, it's added to inventory. And then the accounts department can see the inventory. When it's paid, the purchasing department can see if something is paid. You know, it shares information throughout different um, departments. And so that's very important in the process of business because the easier it is to share information, the better it is or the more likely it is that the company will be working much smoother and tasks will be getting done easier. What are some of the benefits of integration? Well, some of the benefits of integrating are going to be that it improves accuracy. Some integrations and some systems allow you to enter it one time, and then the information is just transferred from, to, from one point to the next, to the next, to the next. Instead of requiring um, the receptionist to write it down in their book, write something down in their boss's book, write something down in somebody else's book. Now you can take that information put it in one system, and then it transfers to the others without um, leaving room for any additional miscommunication or errors. It can save time, of course, if one person is doing something and it's shared between others, that means that there are less persons putting in the same information, saving time. That saves costs as well, because the staff could be working on things that are much more beneficial. It's easier to manage things when things are integrated, reduces workload and it should improve productivity when um, we have integrated processes in place in business. Electronics in the office. The electronic office is, occurs when there's an office that uses computer-based technology in order to complete tasks. And so these Electronic things usually include computers, devices, programs, and special software. Let's think about somebody in a purchasing department. They could be walking through checking inventory and updating it from a handheld device. That saves time and avoids miscalculation. You can compare um, how much inventory is supposed to be on hand to what's on hand. And if you see when you're counting, hey, there's 10 and we actually have 15, 
you can go in the records right away and try to identify where the difference came from and update the records all at once. That brings efficiency and that makes your job easier and oftentimes reduces a lot of wasted time in the office as well. That's it for integrated office systems. It's pretty simple. It's just an idea and the notion that offices work together and have systems that work together to make the job of the office worker so much easier. And so when you do get into an office environment, you're going to find that what you do in your system can be seen in other departments by a manager, by another department, by another supervisor. And so it's all meant to make communicating and working in the office much easier, not to monitor exactly what you're doing, but to make life easier in the office and make tasks easier to complete. And so that's it for this topic. Feel free to play this back and ask me any questions if you do. And of course, happy studying. Hi, Brenda here. I just want to take the time to say thank you for choosing this course. Thank you for choosing yourself and for preparing as you should for office procedures for GCSE. Look forward to more from me and Business Teacher Powell. And I look forward to seeing you in other classes. Bye!